Today is Fast Net Day, it's finally here. We've been talking about it quite a long time. Uh, looking at the weather, it's it's not kind to the forecast. We start off in 35 knots, uh, wind against tides, really bumpy. So a really brutal start to this race. But the thing about the fast net, it's long and lots happen. So we just need to get through each stage in good shape. Um, so it's going to be a really tough start. <laughs> we haven't sailed in any conditions like this all season um, and, and no, neither has anyone. So. You know, we're looking at over 30 knots, wind over tide, um, leaving the Solent. Um, Hurst is going to be, you know, really quite hectic. So I think, you know, the main thing for us is to, to get out of the Solent safe, um, in good shape, um, and then start to head south and, and make our way and just kind of get, get stuck into it, really. Yeah, so the fast net is quite a, a tricky race to do anyway, fully crewed, but kind of doing it double handed really is the next level really in, in terms of difficulty. We have, um, you know, only two of us on board. Um, so between, um, you know, there's very little rest, a lot less rest than you would get um, on a fully crewed boat. It's just that much more physical. The boat's quite small, we'll get bounced around a lot. You know, it's, it, we're in for a tough time, but I think we're ready for that. We're mentally prepared um, and, you know, we've, we've been preparing for this for a long time. Um, and so we're just kind of, right now, we're just keen to get out there, really. issue on the start is all fault really it was an error but uh, we got kind of trapped by another boat and ended up over the line so not ideal in a, in a race this long anyway it's going well we're fast we are we're fast we're working away through all the boats and um, so far so good but it's it's pretty uncomfortable on the first night. We've just done a jib peel. So we're on to our bigger jib now. The wind has dropped to kind of 16 knots, as low as 14. So we're through the uh, 
the big wind and the big waves. Just passing Portland now. And we've got a jib to tidy up before, uh, before night time. So it's morning on Monday, just gone through the first night. Um, all went well, we've got two double-handed double boats in front of us. And uh, we're just coming up to Solcombe, just past start point. And uh, all going well. Just off Solcombe, getting buzzed by the helicopter. Shirley and I haven't eaten a meal yet. We've um, been surviving off sausage rolls, pizza, bars. Um, looking like it's going to be quite calm this evening though, so hopefully we'll get our first hot meal um, inside us as we uh, prepare for the, the long trip across the Irish Sea. So it's sunrise on Tuesday morning, here it is. We're in good shape and today's all about getting across the Irish Channel. And then I'm on the back. Very nice that it's daylight, I'm having a spot of breakfast. Good news, now the sun is out, we can dry our kit. Almost 48 hours of being wet, a bit cold. We can finally dry our stuff out. I can just see Rambler over there on her way back from the rock, probably leading the monohull class. So. Halfway across the Irish Sea, making good progress now, 8-9 knots over the ground, so currently heading straight for the rock, 57 miles to go, should be around uh, sometime during the third night, sometime this evening.
So it's been a really good uh, crossing of the Irish Sea. Uh, for us, we're now up to second overall, only one boat ahead of us. Just behind me is the Fastnet Rock. Just going round at exactly 2 a.m. Pretty cool to think of uh, everyone involved in this campaign that's helped us get around this rock. Thank you very much to everyone. We're in second place, chasing down first. Here we go. The rain stopped, the wind went right to 300 and we have a spinnaker up for the first time in the race. I've had my heart broken in two But something's different next to you It's like my soul is set on fire But oh, I'm starting to feel tired I can run, but I We are just coming up to the Silly Isles now. We've had a good finish to the Irish Sea, really. Um, we made a move to go a bit more east. Um, and as we approach the Sillies, it's gonna be a really, really difficult night keeping the boat going and making sure, most importantly, that we go the right way. The good news is that um, Leon and Alexi, who started out at the beginning of the night, about five miles ahead of us, um, we're now due north of them with an opportunity to, to take the lead from them if, um, if the next kind of hour plays out how it is. So, good fun. Robertson on the bow. So 
I've just been doing a little bit of uh, maths, trying to work out what we need to do here to beat Leon uh, on corrected time. Long story short, over the length of the race that we're doing, we need to finish an hour ahead of them. Currently they are six miles behind us, so we've done amazingly well on this last leg to be able to eke out a really good advantage on them. Um, let's just go and see how the chips fall at the end. It's really light. Uh, Leon, we can see, is closing fast, about three miles windward. So we do what we can. So here is a whole load of boats not moving. The finish line is here and we're trying to do around the outside like a few other boats have done to try and avoid the light winds just on the finish line. We just crossed the line in Sherbrooke, it's just before five o'clock. What a mad five days, but um, it's a pretty phenomenal race. We think we finished a really close second to Leon, uh, and what a battle all the way, but incredible. What a, what a time. Yeah, it's been really good, and I think, um, you know, we put ourselves on the back for the beginning, but, you know, I'm really proud of how we sailed to um, to get ourselves back in it and to actually be six miles ahead of them and, and over a ha an hour, of what, which is what we needed to be at one point from where we were, is um, it's pretty awesome. So um, it didn't go our way in the end, I don't think, but yeah, we can definitely be very, very happy with second for sure. Because I can run, but I can't.